I mean, it's no fucking problem, it's okay to do that now. Don't let me drown. Don't let me drown. I don't even know how to start this. So, jump in, shall we? Hello, it's you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Can you hear hi, hello? I'm Lydia. Today, I'm lying down to film a video. I did originally have a different video lined up to go up but I wasn't happy with it. Literally an hour before video was supposed to be up today and I am filming because I wasn't happy with the first one I had. Today, quick shout out to my good friend Louise who has just done a video sharing her diary. Please go check out her channel, please go watch the video, please go show us some love, show us some support. And go through something that I haven't done on the channel. I thought I could go through my journal and properly dive in deep. Today, we're doing another diary reading. Now this diary, this journal, is from my hospital admission this year. This was the one that took place in April. Get on with this, let's get into it. To be completely honest, my life right now is, a com is completely chaotic. I don't really know where I'm at at the moment, or what's going on. All I know is life at the moment is really complicated. I think this is as, about as good as of an intro as I can give. I'm not a writer. <laughs> oh shit, what happened? I'm here, I'm from the future. Today's little shout out goes to Ryan's life. Love what she does and I felt like giving her a shout out in today's video. And with that, I'm gonna disappear again back into the past and edit this into the past. My camera stopped recording on me. How rude of it. So, the 27th of April 2019, Northwood Park a and &E. So at this time, I was in seclusion. This a &E department, Northwood Park, has a mental health seclusion room in a and &E. I was in there for near enough two full days and it drove me mad. And this is from that. So this is the 27th of April this year. I've been sat in this room for over 24 hours so it really has been a long time. A seclusion room is not where I thought 2019 was going to take me but I guess it's where we are at or what we are at. Honestly this <laughs> I did the quotation marks because it was like it wasn't a bed. You were given a better bed when you're in police custody than they have in a seclusion room. So um, yeah, no, this bed wasn't a bed. What's really been bothering me today is not being able to have my medication, the correct time, or even the right medication. <laughs> I don't really know what this hospital have found so hard about getting the right medication. I've genuinely never had this much of a problem before. But hey, here I am. So let's take it as it comes together. This is our journey because I know, a, I know a lot of people are going through this too. I just now realised I haven't explained anything at all. It comes to why am I actually here or anything. So maybe it's time for some pretext. A few weekends ago, I lost my friend, lost my friend, close friend, to suicide. And to be real with you, it's completely and utterly broke me. There's a lot of emotion in these pages, guys. This time the staff seemed a bit, a bit worried about me. I certainly couldn't wait to be rid of me. A massive difference being this time I actually did cut my throat open. And I did try to step in front of an underground. I did say my mind was in a pretty bar dark place. The support staff I was sat with today tried calling the Brent Home Treatment Team and got hung up on. Proving even more so that they, don't, that they wasn't doing their job at supporting me. And other people, something I have been saying since I first went under the last year. 28th of April, Shore Ward, Park Rail. Last night I got transferred back to the same ward I was on only five days ago. Honestly, this morning hasn't been easy. I've been awake since around 7am. I had a massive anxiety attack because I don't know how to face people when I know they are going to be looking at me because I have massive cuts across my neck and nothing to hide them with. So I went into the world of silence, got to the reception and got my medication. They explained to me why my medication was so messed up. The discharge letter hadn't gone through properly. This morning I've had lorazepam and then the vaccine, which has helped with my mood a little bit. But let's see where the day takes us. I feel really broken at the, mo at the moment. I say at the moment so much when I write. 
is ridiculous and I don't really know why. What I do is clearly my life is being really chaotic and so many things have happened to me. At this point I just can't deal with anything at the moment. Oh for God's sake, how many times do I say at the moment? I'm gonna start writing for a bit. <laughs> why did I write that? <laughs> For the rest of the day I pretty much lay in bed, that's all. I did a good job at keeping like daily vlogs of what I was doing and that. I'm actually really bad at journaling, like, I forget to do it. Like, I haven't written a journal entry <sighs> about two weeks. 29th of April. I woke up in an okay mood today, a little stressed out. I don't have access to the internet to look at what I need to do for you and me. That's all I wrote! What? I can't miss the what? What? I hope this is the one problem of living in this age. Explanation mark. <laughs> and then it's just a fucking page. Like, there's nothing after that. Like, literally, it goes from that to to that. <laughs> like, there's nothing else. Thanks, me. Yeah. Bye, guys. Now. Camera, come here. Come here. <laughs>